Hey guys, it's Mr. Stewart, and today we're going to look at our periodic table. And so you guys should have a copy of this periodic table, and, and we're going to take some time. You've got some colored pencils on your desks. If you don't, go get the colored pencils. And we're going to uh, go ahead and color through our periodic table. And so the first group we're going to color, uh, I want you to color them in, and color them a little bit lighter so that you're not going to have to, uh, you can still read through it. And we've got I've got a red color on this one, and so we're going to color the first group, but not hydrogen, because hydrogen is a little bit different. So we're going to color this first group, and this first group is called the alkali metals. And alkali metals are all very similar, and they all do the same similar things. They all react in water, and they all have a certain uh, reactivity, they all uh, are metals, they're soft metals, and they do all sorts of neat things. So those are the alkali metals. Our second group, uh, group two, are, are are just a little bit different. They're the alkaline earth metals, and so if you've ever heard of an alkaline battery, that's that's where that name comes from. Alkaline batteries are batteries that are made with things like magnesium, which is one of those elements that's in there. And so we've got alkaline earth metals in this group. And I forgot to color that one in. So this is the alkaline earth metals. Uh, our third section, our third group is actually a little bit big and they are our um, transition metals and they're this this group here in the middle. And so this group here in the middle is all of our transition metals and they go all the way over here to aluminum. And we actually avoid this little staircase here just a little bit. So all the way over here and everything down here in the middle and all of this stuff. So be careful when you get over to the right side. But we're going to go ahead and color all this in. And I'm going to make my cursor a lot bigger so it takes me a little less time. But these are the transition metals, and they transition from this side of the periodic table to this side of the periodic table. And this is the transition point between our metals and our nonmetals. So these guys are called transition metals. If you can read the yellow, it says transition metals. I may change that color. Let me change that color. And that was the wrong button to press. That's not what I want to do there either. It's not going to let me do that. Oh well. Um, our third group. All right. Our third group is going to be these guys right along this dark black line. And so this this dark black line is the line between the metals and the nonmetals and all of the elements that are along that dark black line except for aluminum are called metalloids and these metalloids are metals that behave kind of like metals and kind of like nonmetals So these are our metalloids here, and they, they behave like nonmetals, and they be le behave like metals. It just kind of depends on what you do. Things like silicon, which makes our uh, uh, transistors, they behave like conductors when you run electric current through them, but when they don't have electric current running through them, they behave like insulators. So we have uh, silicon and germanium, which both make, uh, make transistors and, and circuits and, and chips and things like that. Um, so they, they can behave like metals and nonmetals at the same time. So those are our metalloids. Let's change that to metalloids. 
All right, now our next groups are a little bit smaller, really. We've got a little bit fewer things over here. So our first one is going to be our uh, non-metals. And our non-metals are these guys right here. So we've got wrong color once again. Let me fix that. Go back to this color. I've got carbon and nitrogen and oxygen and selenium, and sulfur, and phosphorus. So these guys are all my non-metals. So I've got these non-metals here. Uh, my other non-metals uh, have special group names. And so um, these are my typical non-metals that I have. Non-metals. Oh, I forgot one. My other non-metal is hydrogen. So I got to make sure that hydrogen is a non-metal. All right, hydrogen is one of those non-metals non that doesn't really fit in there. Uh, but it does based on its uh, elec electrons and things like that. Uh, our next type of element are the halogens. And the halogens are these guys in group 17. And group 17 are my halogens, and my halogens are, are salt formers. That's what the, the word halogen means. It means they make salts. And so as we look at this, uh, they make salts like chlorine. Chlorine mixed with sodium makes sodium chloride, which is table salt. And so all of these guys over here are the ones that make salts. So they are my halogens. You might have heard of halogen light bulbs. Halogen light bulbs are made of the same sort of things. They've got these halogen gases inside of their their uh, inside of their little bulbs. Um, our last group over here on the on the right side are called the noble gases, and the noble gases are these guys. I'm making them purple because purple is the color of nobility. And so the noble gases are the ones that are that are the most uh, desirable. All the elements want to look like the noble gases. They all want to be royals. They all want to be called queen bee. And so we've got our, our noble gases, the nobility of the periodic table. They're the most important. Uh, at least they think they're the most important. Depends on who you're talking to as to who's going to think something's the most important. Uh, and then we've got one more group, and it's down here kind of at the bottom. And I'm going to do mine in, in like a fuchsia color. Um, but the, the guys down here at the bottom, this, this last little row, I'm going to make this bigger so it takes me a little less time because that's a big group. And um, so these are the lanthanide and actinide series. And the lanthanide and actinide series actually fit kind of right in the middle of the periodic table uh, between elements 58 and 71 in the fifth and sixth rows of the periodic table. Or sixth and seventh rows, sorry. And so they fit kind of right in here on the periodic table. And so that's where they go. Uh, well, I guess it actually over one, but between 57 and 72 and between 89 and 104. And so these are elements that we call the rare earth elements. All right, most of them are rare earth, the top row at least. Um, we call them the rare earths. And so those are all of our elements and all of our different groups. And really in our class, we're going to be focusing mostly on just the ones over here and over here. We don't really need to know much about the other ones. So we're going to be focusing on just those. And you don't need to draw those big circles on your periodic tables. But uh, but those are the ones that we're going to worry about. When you take chemistry class, uh, you can worry about the transition metals right here. 
right? We'll talk a little bit about transition metals, but not too much. Um, mostly things like silver and nickel and copper and zinc and cobalt and iron and gold is another one. Mercury is kind of fun too. And aluminum, obviously, but that's not really in that uh, transition group there. Uh, so we've got those special elements that we'll talk about, but uh, most of those transition metals we're not going to worry too much about. Um, so take a few minutes. You can pause the video if you want to to finish coloring your periodic tables. You can watch. You can look at this, and uh, and then we'll move on here in a second.